Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I got an interesting email from Ted. Ted lives in California. And I love these kinds of stories. So if this kind of thing happens to you or you're involved in something like this, please pass it along. Because as you know, I'm a lemon law lawyer. I specialize in lemon law here in the state of Michigan. I handle lemon law cases. That's the bulk of the work I do as an attorney. And I've been doing that for 28 years now. But of course, I practice law in Michigan. And so people say, what about in other states? And I point out that there are lemon laws in all 50 states. And you know they vary from state to state. But once in a while, somebody will say, but I wonder what it would be like in another state. Well, I'm here to tell you because Ted told me and I can tell you because Ted told me I could. So Ted sent me an email this past week and says, Steve, I thought you may enjoy reading about my Lemon Law case. In early 2019, I bought a brand new 2020 Kia Soul, paid cash for it and drove it off the lot thinking car troubles were in the past. Wrong. After only three months of ownership, the brakes started making noises upon acceleration. (laughs) That's not good. Banging and clunking upon acceleration. And it got worse. I took it into the dealership and they immediately said the problem was something they spotted along with some other minor issues. So this is a good sign. I've had people tell me they bring a car in. They go, we can't find a problem. We don't know what you're talking about. Here they go. No, yeah, we agree there's a problem here. The service writer told me it would take two weeks to fix the braking problem. Two weeks. That turned out to be a gross understatement. They had the vehicle in the shop for 83 days. And in most states, if it's in the shop 25 days, 30 days, it's going to be a lemon in the first year because the point is you bought a brand new car, not to park it in the service department of the dealership, but to drive it. So excuses were rampant, but the primary issue was to apparently replace the ABS systems module. Okay, the anti-lock brake systems module. Of course, there was only one place in the entire world where they could get that part, and that would be Korea. (laughs) They actually ordered one from Korea. They got it, and it was defective. So they ship it back and get another one. The second one was serviceable, and he got his car back at the end of two months, three weeks, two days. Drove it home. The brakes functioned differently, but they still felt spongy, and none of the other minor issues had been fixed. So they had it for 83 days. It's not fixed. He goes, I decided to call a Lemon Law attorney. Immediately, I rang up the San Bernardino Bar Association, which I've told people, you know, you can do internet searches, type in Lemon Law attorney in the state you're in, and find somebody will pop up. You can call around. And a bar association is not a bad place to start. A lady answered and mentioned that she did not think there were any such attorneys in the county, but many people will handle these cases statewide. So for 40 bucks, she could give me one name that may have practiced in the field. So he chose not to do that. Some bar associations will do this for free. Some do charge a minor fee. Uh, He said at least 30 lawyers popped up when he did a Google search. He goes, I had no idea what to do. So I chose two who had at least 90 or more five-star ratings and personal commentary. And, you know, I've mentioned before, ratings on the internet, you know. But if that's how you want to do it, that's great. He said, I called and left messages on their answering machines, and in a very few minutes, both returned my call. That's a good sign. Each of them came across as competent, which I appreciated. The first was in the San Diego area, and I thought that was too far from where I lived. The second one came across as confident competent and a gracious but firm no-nonsense attorney who knew the Southern California landscape for lemon law. My business, he had won. But for some reason, I was a bit loath to send in the proper documentation. Within two days, he called and told me to send in the paperwork so he could file a lawsuit, noting that nothing could be done with my fine story. He needed to see the documents. And that's important. Anybody who talks to you on the phone says, you've got a case, boom. Well, if you just talk to them on the phone, <laughs> it could be a crank call for all they know. Usually, you have to see documents. I was glad he called me and made the request for the needed items. Uh, and it was not a legal assistant or a robot. It was actually him making the phone call. He says shortly he had all the stuff and he filed a lawsuit. Uh, he says, you know, I'd never met the man. I thought to myself, a lemon law attorney who probably doesn't make too much money per case and has an office in a back alley behind a dumpster. <laughs> I like it when people admit what their thoughts are. So he says that he did a Google Maps search to see what the guy's office looked like and was stunned and pleasantly surprised. 
His office was a ninth floor suite in the old Taft building on the corner of Hollywood Boulevard and Vine. He was two blocks south of the famous old Capitol Records building. Rents in that area of L.A. are astronomical, which does suggest he's doing okay. He and his colleagues had to be doing outstanding business to maintain that location. Elated, indeed, I was. So, Ted's also a good storyteller. (laughs) Five weeks passed, and the attorney called me and conveyed great news. He says, we won the suit, and I was advised to take the second choice, which was to have the company repurchase my car and refund all of my money. Most Lemon Laws say that you can ask for a replacement, non-defective vehicle in exchange for the one you have, or have them buy it back. And he says, you know, probably want to buy back. So today, and this again, like I said, was sent to me just a couple days ago. He goes, today I turned in the vehicle. The attorney mentioned that he would get a check out to me as soon as possible. As a skeptical and silver-haired guy, I wasn't ultimately sure of a winning outcome. Um, And his thoughts were dashed to the desert winds. Two things were etched into my soul. Firstly, I'm sure you've heard this many times. A good attorney does have your best interest at heart and will work to bring about a winning outcome. Thankfully, I did not try this case by myself, which I briefly pondered. After all, this is consumer law. It had to be aptly written and adjudicated for and by the average Joe or Gene. Maybe, but an attorney has many resources at his or her disposal, of which I'm not privy, which is a big help. Finally, the California Lemon Law, a good piece of legislation. That is, it actually does work for a citizen consumer. Hurrah. Steve, I hope you enjoyed the story. Your subscriber in the high desert of Southern California attached are pics of the car and of me, Ted. And Ted did include photographs of himself and the car. And he points out that theoretically you could handle a case like this yourself, but the one thing that an attorney who does these cases has is the knowledge, and he used the word, of the landscape. And the landscape is not just how the law works, it's how the courts work, but it's also how each manufacturer works. So an attorney who's handled a lot of these cases will know that this particular set of facts will work great if you've got a Ford case, it might work decently if you've got a Chrysler case, might not go as easily if you've got a Toyota case. And, and you say, why would that matter? Well, we're hoping to get the cases to settle early. Okay, if I've got a good case, I want it to settle as quickly as possible. And there are just differences between the manufacturers. I can't explain it. I've had people say, Steve, that makes no sense. Well, manufacturers are big companies that are run differently, and they have the right to run themselves however they see fit. And I've had instances in the past, and I'm not going to get into too heavily this, but there have been times where there was a manufacturer that didn't treat, for instance, brake problems as seriously as transmission problems. Why? I don't know. Brakes are often a wear item, but a brand new vehicle shouldn't have brake clunking on it, acceleration, right? And I've had other situations where a manufacturer will treat a a wobble in the front end, seriously, but another one won't, okay? So that's the kind of landscape that an attorney who's done this a lot can help you out with. So, you know, he says he called two attorneys, did some research on his own, and I get people asking this all the time, and I've not done videos on it directly, I don't think, or maybe a long time ago, but how you want to find an attorney is often you've got to do a little bit of research. You have to do a little bit of work at the front end, meaning that you've got a case, you're going to make some phone calls, and don't just hire the first person who offers to take your case because they might not know what they're doing, or they might have just done that because they need the business. Uh, but you want to make a couple phone calls and try to determine if the person you're talking to seems confident, seems like somebody you can work with, and if they've got anything impressive about them with their recommendations or their website or they pop up in the news (laughs) or their name pops up when you type in Michigan Lemon Law. Uh, You know, whatever criteria you want to use. But the point is that Ted went through the process, and look, he did a little bit of work at the front end, but the rest of the process was painless. And he didn't say this, but I'm pretty certain this is true. The California Lemon Law allows for the payment of the attorney fees by the manufacturer, meaning that Ted did not pay for this to happen. Ted hired the attorney, and the attorney got paid for by the manufacturer, and Ted got his money back when the car got bought back. So again, that's not one of my cases. I did not represent Ted, and I don't even know the attorney who did. It's not somebody I know. I know some attorneys in California. I don't know this guy. But not the point. The point is that there are these attorneys in most states. 
do some research, and you can have a happy story like Ted did. And I appreciate the fact he passed it along because I love hearing these stories from other states in particular to see how the process works there. Questions or comments, put them below. I'll just talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Leto's Law. When you judge another, you do not define them, you define yourself.